Hi, I'm David. I'm out here on Hepkin Lake, just outside of West Yellowstone. And I was here last week ice fishing. And that's where you set up a pole and you used to have the line going into a hole about that big. It had a worm on it, a mealworm. And nothing was biting. So I started walking out on the lake looking for some new holes to use. When my friend started yelling, hey, you got a fish. Well, I was too far away to reel him in. I was afraid he was going to get away because I could see the pole just being you know, pulled down. So I told him to go ahead and reel him in, and I was just running back as fast as I could. Well, I had just about reached the hole when he was lifting it up out of the water. I could see the fish's head and the top part of the body. Well, that's when the line broke. So uh, I did, you know, what, what you would have done too, which is put my arms out and dove straight into the hole. The, uh, the ice water came up to about right here, and I felt the fish, I grabbed the fish, and I just pulled him right out of the water. Well, it was about 40 degrees with a breeze, and I still had my gloves on. In that type of situation, you don't have time to pull off your gloves, you gotta jump into the water. So I was a little bit worried, but and I could tell that they were heavier than normal, but my hands really weren't that wet. And what goes on was, is the, the, the bison hair absorbs moisture. It's better than wool. It's much, much better than cotton. And so even though they were, you know, they were soaking wet in cold, icy water, and yet I could still, I just kept them on. And about five minutes later, because of the breeze, uh, you know, they dried off, and I was just good to go. The, the bison here is great. So for fly fishing, um, if you're out taking pictures, you want to have it on. Sometimes you, you, know, you get your hands wet. This is the perfect glove. So go ahead and check out the website. Take a look at what I have, and I can ship one right out to you.